All right, so here's the moment of truth. Did he get lucky via in the incompetent of a junkyard technician? Or did he buy a disc at D2 with a notoriously terrible engine? We'll find out. All right, we're gonna go direct to customer now. Ready? Crank. All right, stop. Matt, I need a... All right, so in this video, I wasn't really planning to film it. I'm gonna talk about a D2 that I knew nothing about. All I know is that RVA Rover bought this D2. Uh, it was going to scrap, um, but it had to be saved. I think it's got 170,000 miles. I'll check the year and stuff. I can't remember what the ad said. Um, and it, but it's got a lot of good bits on it. Uh, I got a lot of comments about the, the make of the front bumper here. It's obviously got some beefy Cooper tires on it. Uh, diff guards. I mean, it looks like a lot of newer parts. Looks like some uh, either Bilstein or LME uh, shocks over there. Not a lot of rust at all. Pretty damn clean. It looks like this axle has been replaced at some point. Amazingly, it still has the cats. Um, and I'm looking at this for the first time as well. So if I kind of seem like I don't know anything about it, it's because I don't. You got, looks like eBay special slotted rotors. Um, Again, it's a really decent frame. Man, for a Northeast truck, it's pretty not that bad. I mean, it does have one little issue. I don't I don't believe it starts. Woo! Look at the little titties on this thing. That's a good one. It's got all the right stickers. Mountain State Bobcats. I mean, it's odd, but you want the right stickers on there. It kind of tells you a little bit of paints a picture of who the previous owner was. Um, frame support is good. Skip plate's still intact. Yep, old man emu on the suspension there. Uh, man, no rust. Not, 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 not terrible at all. A couple little bumps, some scratch and scra scrapes and scratches. <sighs> Here's this side. But overall, great color, dark green, dual sunroofs, of course. It's a 99. Uh, oh, let's pop the hood. Looks like that's already been done. All right, the hood is popped. Um, there's some more of your deets. Whatever those service campaigns were. I don't see the color code. Oh, there it is. Epson green. Great color. Decent looking red top battery. Does it have coolant? All right, there's a level, there's some coolant, all right. So it, it didn't, the, the ad didn't have it as a bad head gasket, which is the first thing you think about. It said it, was a, it said it started and ran, had an issue with the front axle, but when he got there, it didn't run. So he just called me and said, jump it. So I'm gonna do that here in a second. But uh, other than that, it was sold as potentially a starter issue, messed up front axle. So that's what we're gonna baseline it out of. Let's check out the inside. Jump in here. Wings look nice, not not too rusty. Smells like a disco. Probably at some point a little bit of water got in up here, but the headliner's in good shape. Got the extra seat back there. Volume control still intact. I mean, this this is a decent rig. I mean, even if the engine's bad, and I hate to say that, this thing is not terrible. All right, keys are in it. Interior looks fine. Shifter looks janky. It's a D2, there's nothing. Do we see one D2, you've seen them all. Uh, let's try to jump it and see if it does anything. All right. Keys are in it. That's a good sign. Nothing. Oh man, absolutely nothing. Poor guy. All right, well, I got the battery on. Let's see uh, what works or what doesn't work. Display is working. I'm not sure if he's got drive modes. E-brakes popped. Don't have seat functions. Make sure I'm doing this right. 
yeah, I got no windows or anything either. I feel like this could be an electrical issue. Shock, a D2 with an electrical issue. Um, so let's, uh, let's poke around with the jump box a little more. All right, so it's, uh, she's dead and it's not moving. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt. We've got the last registration issued in 08. So I'm sure this thing just sat for a while, but he's got all the paperwork for it. Um... No records, which is kind of a, a bummer. It does have the mats. That's nice. Nothing in the glove box. Yeah, no uh, no Easter eggs here, unfortunately. This is nice. I didn't know those were leather coated. Uh, it does come with some change. Excellent. Double change. And a functioning clock. So, typical Jaguar, Jaguar Land Rover um, mirror issues there. So... There you go. Uh, look, he's even got 2,000 miles on his uh, his oil chain. So that's that's perfect. June of some year, Dixon's Auto Repair. Who knows where that is? But, yep, he's definitely got a shitty project on his hands, but it could be, I guess it could be worse. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll play with it a little bit more here, and then he'll have to pay Mike to figure out why is this guy's broken, which is, you know, to be expected. But, again, good-looking truck all around. Um, Check out his channel at RVA Rover. He's gonna probably be shepherding this project uh, to completion. He's probably gonna wanna fix it to sell it, make a couple bucks to fund his other uh, project, but what's actually gonna happen, he's gonna fall in love with it and he's gonna keep it. So, you know, that's how it goes. So, all right, update. We've got starting fluid now. Apparently it cranks. What fuse did you pull again? All right, battery fuse. So, I don't know if this is going to be direct enough with the starting fluid. Crank it. It's a pretty weak crank. So I thought the video was over, it's not. So he pulled some fuse, I think I mentioned it before. We have interior lights. Uh, we don't have windows. We've got some more, oh. Yeah. But look, this is illuminated now, that's good. The unlock works. So that's an update. Still no radio. Still have the blinking service lights. Potential transmission fault. Blinkers work now. Because yeah, this door. No. No windows still. All right, we're gonna hook another jump box up because we believe the battery is super dead and then try to crank it. See if we get any more juice out of it. All right, take two. Well, that sounded quicker. Maybe uh, spray the ether now. Yeah. Well, it's gonna blow up if we keep spraying it in there. <laughs> Oof. Well, that's a crank no start. You still got all the blinking things there. I don't know why I let that neutral. Yeah, 
Interesting. All right, so a couple other Rover updates. Here's our 95. Um, this was actually sold to another friend. Uh, we kind of like to keep it in-house. It's an incestual addiction we have going on over here. Who uh, put some tires on it, put some uh, beefy Cooper fin boys and pizza cutters on it, which is not the tire I would have gone with for this application. It does look way thinner than I think it needs to be. The sidewalls look high, but it just looks a little bit too rounded for my liking. Um, and he's going to try to get this one, uh, not totally restored, but getting running and driving at least a little better than it was. He's fighting some ignition issues, but just the uh, luck of the draw on that one. So, um, what else do we have? Oh, my uh, 97 five-speed manual disco is over here still, just waiting on its, uh, its time in line to uh, diagnose the disappearing coolant. Um, and then we'll hopefully have this one at some point this summer. It's gonna be pretty expensive to get this thing sorted, but we'll see. That's uh, coming up. <laughs> so again, if you, if you like the Rover content, guys, please feel free to subscribe. We're doing a lot out here. I'm trying to keep it as interesting as possible, but again, every day is you know, a little bit different and uh, it's gonna be a great summer. And we're just gonna keep cranking away out. You can see the Super Jag sitting over there. Uh, I got the Lotus Twin Turbo Esprit. Customer cars, but pretty neat. See that little Mazda in the back? That's a little spoiler alert. We'll be talking about that one more a little later. So again, always interesting stuff going on here, especially with either myself or at Sports Car Workshops. And um, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Thank you.